We're here in San Francisco's main lane right off of Union Square for the open casting call of a new Fox show called Master Chef. Somehow Gordon Ramsay's going to be involved, and it's been described to us as the cooking version of American Idol. All of these people have brought a room temperature dish to have tasted, and they're all getting their photo taken and being judged both on taste and on their sparkling personality, hoping for their star turn on reality television. I prepared a duck confit sandwich uh, with a red onion marmalade, turkey mushroom meatloaf, uh, oxtails, apple cheese and chive salad, samosas, beef, uh, oyster sauce sauce, brie spread, sour cream, chocolate bundt cake, polenta with cornichons. What did you make today? The triple S tilapia. Slonoma wine braised beef shank. Uh, Ratatouille, which I don't know how to pronounce. The triple S tilapia? Yes. Tilapia. Oh, tilapia. Yeah, it's based off of Julia Child's recipe. So you're looking for people that will be exciting to watch? Um, I'm looking for people that are rootable. Do you feel that you're rootable? Am I what? Rootable. What do you mean by that? Rootable. Um, people that, you know, America will sit down and watch and either say, I can identify with that person, I want them to win. You know, people who... What about I want them to lose? Yes, I'm rootable. I have like 461 friends on my Facebook that I know all of them. People like French people. Dancing with the stars. When one French guy uh, was second. Now, if you get cast on this show, what are you going to do if Gordon Ramsay's mean to you on TV? <sighs> I just don't see that happening. Uh -uh. He won't be. Really? Yeah. Have you seen him before? Flash the dimples. Oh? Flash the dimples, smile, not talk back, listen to the constructive criticism. He really only rips on people when they're doing something stupid. I, I think he has a lot of good insight and is a great person to learn from. So He's got those Michelin stars. Uh, I think he absolutely means well. He just might have some delivery problems. Me and him, I just have a bond that I can feel it. I can feel it in my loins. Wait. Um, I always fantasize about him coming to the restaurant and yelling at my boss and then taking his shirt off. So that's my hope. <laughs> so we're, now we're downstairs inside Sir Latab. Thank you, Lyle. And um, this is where people are having their food tasted and then they're kind of getting interviewed to see if their personality is, as we learned earlier, rootable. So it's very exciting. It looks like a lot of action and, you know, people are really fun in line, but you can tell when we get down here, it is serious show business. So far today, we've been at it uh, like four or five hours and I've tasted some extraordinary, extraordinary things, so. Have you tasted some disgusting, disgusting things? Um, N not disgusting, but there is a level to be master chef. You know, is is really an elevated. We we really want the cream of the crop. No pun intended. After the initial judging year of it, where they bring a dish, then there's a second wave of of an interview process, and we get to know a little bit about their lives. And some people want to open a cafe. There's some people who want to open their own catering company. I just had a woman who's vegan that made the best vegan cupcakes. I've ever had. Okay, we're here wrapping it up at the MasterChef auditions here on Maiden Lane. And um, we are really, really, really hoping that someone from San Francisco gets cast in this show. Ideally, obviously, someone we've interviewed. Thank you for watching. I am Beth. That is Beth. We're the Beths. We go out so you don't have to.